Hello everybody, Grizzly here. So, I figured today we're going to play some Hearts of Iron 4 again. And, you know I like playing as, as miners, and now that I've had time to, to look around, I think what I'm going to do is follow a little bit of Greek history, where I'm going to go down the King's Government and Metaxasism. And... Historically, in August of 36, Metaxas uh, staged a coup and replaced the government with a nationalist, very anti-communist uh, dictatorship. Uh, but then they pretty much were issued an ultimatum by Italy, to which they said, come get us. And Italy tried and failed right up until Germany got there. So I think what we'll do is we'll pretty much go two-thirds of that way, but join the Axis so Italy can't, can't invade us. We can deny them, but they won't be able to declare war on us. Now, I don't know, there might be something that kicks us out of the Axis if that happens, which would certainly be a shame, but it's all we can do. So, yeah, let's get started by taking the king's government. And what I think I'll do to play to play that a little safer is I'll spend some time creating a fort line and creating some strong uh, defensive templates. But for right now, we gotta put these civilian factories to use. I think we can ignore synthetics for a long time. Pretty much entirely just because we're not going to have a lot to roll with. We'll have some navy, but that's going to be it. Factory Albert is terrible because... Factory output is terrible because of that. We've got so many resources to market and consumer goods factories. We do have to deal with those. But for right now, let's build some civilians. We'll want to build them here. We'll build one there because it'll build slightly faster, and then we'll build another three there, and then we'll probably move over to Mills. I suspect we will lose Crete, so we'll just kind of ignore them. We might be able to put some guys there, uh, but we'll have to make that decision later. But we're producing these buildings so slowly that it probably won't even matter. We've got free dockyards. Let's just start with we have 1936 destroyers we do have it but we can't build them we don't have them. we'll just go with early cruisers we have one more we'll just build convoys and they will build slowly because we don't have the steel yet but we're gonna push down some useful stuff to make that a little better i do want anti-tank if i'm gonna be infantry focused We'll want interwar artillery, and then I'll go over here and quick grab that. I know I'm not going down the standard line as far as uh, getting all of my industry focused. I think it'll be better. It could end up being a loss. It'd be a mistake. But we need to do a lot of things here. This will get Metaxism. That gets us stability. Hellenic Spirit will give us some political power, and one of the things we want to do early on is get a political advisor. And I think we'll go with Paxis. 
Well, right now we're Constantinos, and Metaxism makes him our leader. So I, I think if we take him, we'll be we'll be in trouble. So we won't go with him. We'll figure someone out. For him, we need to have the Republicans friendly or loyal. Monarchists have won the election, so Constantinos is no longer a royal puppet, an elected monarchist puppet. So much better. Alright, we'll gain some stability for a little while, but it'll all be over. that we'll put metaxas in charge which will start uh really chunking down some of these uh supports we'll lose democracy and communism support will keep us very unaligned and then we can start building uh fascism But I think what we'll do is we will build a fort line probably across this border. Yeah. I think we'll stop here at the plains. I think we'll build across the full border, have all those mountains, and then drop down to... Uh, Probably go this forest, and if we can build in the city, I think you can. I'll have to check. Get a couple forts there, and then have a secondary line here eventually. Because there's a lot of rivers, and it's really rough terrain. It'd be very hard to push through. And I think what we're going to do is have multiple small units at first, so like we'll take him and just like make this. Probably, we want our mountaineers to be good, so we'll probably put like two artillery and then replace these with plain infantry so we can have a couple more of them, but they will be 20 width. And then we'll fill the line where we'll probably just go uh, three with an artillery and an anti tank and just get rid of these so that we'll have a 10 width. And they'll just be guys to fill in the fill in the blanks and take care of any armor we might end up against. Research speed one finished, we'll go for the next one. I'm not overly concerned that we're not going down the, uh, the industry line yet, because our industry is just so bad with all of these that spending time researching those does not give a very strong bonus. Take this army and just put them on that border. Game okay, Metaxism has finished, so he should be our new leader. He's giving us defense. And some acceptance of fascist diplomacy. Now we'll go Hellenic Spirit, which will help us out a little bit. And we'll be able to go for a four year plan into opening up the country and probably bolstering the shock plan. Alright, and those two finished, which is great. Uh, so now, let's switch over to carrier firepower, because we're going to want soft attack. And under industry, do we want to take one already? I don't know. Let's take a simple support weapon boost. We'll go to our uh, production and just put in a line for 
anti tank and put in another line for support equipment. So at least we have them. And having uh, artillery and uh, anti tank. I don't know. I feel like they use a little less manpower than a plain infantry division. I guess I could just check right now. You're using a thousand. You're using three hundred, but you're a support. You use five hundred, and you use five hundred. So they'll use a little bit less manpower, which is pretty good. Okay, that is a nice big chunk there. We're gonna want to befriend the fascists. And let's see. Recruiting them, does that do anything? Yeah, that's going to make them be friendly right away. So let's just leave them. More support, training time. Yeah, I think we want that. We're just going to build up this political power for a while, because there's really not a whole lot of people worth getting. We could add a theorist. Um, ah, of course, he is in the battle plan. Hmm. I think I want the army experience trickle so I can get these templates split over. But he is grand battle plan. Well, let me double check. I've already started so much. The only thing that's going to do is give entrenchment, planning, infantry, get some defense, and breakthrough. I think this is just better. It's going to help us destroy the actual strength of the people attacking us because it's going to be a battle of attrition so yeah we'll just wait a little bit and grab this guy just because we really need that experience gain Because we do not have the equipment to just exercise these guys. We'll probably switch him out later. What are we missing? Steel. But we'll be able to take care of that pretty soon. Because uh, we're going to go over here. As soon as this finishes, we're going to go four-year plan. We also do that, which will give us some uh, some faction popularity. And the faction will just start cooperating, which will be helpful. Let's research the next gun, because we are going to be very infantry-focused. Okay. What do we, oh, we would need to crack down first. We'll do that, or do we want to do four-year plan first? Well, that's going to hurt our infrastructure, or uh, our political power gain, which we need. So let's do this, grab some fast political power. In the shop plan. That really is hurting us with that extra 10%. But it is giving us extra construction speed. But we need to get rid of agrarian society. Do we have any research? I think we'll take construction at this point. Oh, 
Okay. So let us pay back our debts. Tracking down just removes Formanoff leaves this. There's a whole lot. Factory output, for population. This gives political power gain, recruitable population, consumer goods goes down. Is stability. I think I like this. So I think we'll go down that one. Even though forcing them into the factories definitely seems more along the thematic line, but eh, we're gonna try and be a little effective here. Probably grab this soon, and then the army. Okay, more research. See what decisions we have. That's going to happen automatically. We can start working on our debt repayment. Let's start with the Italians. I don't think any of our focuses are going to have us abandon our debt. Nope, not that I see. Get him soon-ish. Alright, that finished. Back to here. We'll need to make all of them like us. Let's look at a sharp-tongued lawyer. Uh, I don't know if I want him right now. Makes the maintenance cost cheaper. But if I want a bunch of free factories... I think I can take the hit. France, UK, Germans, and Soviet Union. Let's see how they are. You're at negative 10, you're at negative 10, you're at negative 10. So you should be able to get them all up fairly fast. So we're going to do that, and before we start time, we're going to make sure we prove relations. Group relations. Improve. And over here in the Soviets, we will nations. And with any luck, I think it times out correctly that we'll get there within 70 days. Oop, that rifle finished, so we'll upgrade that in the production line and go on to something new. Go back over to industry and create the machine tools. We're starting to knock out some of the uh, the things holding our industry back. Make sure we assign a general. Go with him. Give it a field marshal. Oh yeah, we'll definitely be above 70 when the time comes. As long as we don't get any kind of strange event or anything that uh, pushes it away. Okay. Let's look at our recruitment templates. We almost have 10, so we can edit these guys 
to be a little better. Uh, we wanted two artillery. So we'll just save that there for now. And then we'll be putting a whole bunch of base infantry to keep them 20 width. And we will also make them the guys who need to get reinforced first. Now that fired and all these guys should have been above 80, 90, 90, 90, and but that's Poland. 90. So we should have just got four mills and four sieves, which is huge. Basically just doubled our strength. Move these mills, put one there, and then artillery is the thing we're going to need the next most of. No template for Toad Anti-Tank. Yeah, I know, but we'll get there before you know it. Let's try to get steel from our own land. And let's just attach these guys to that army, where they will be close air support, interception, air superiority. Construction finished, which is just great. Go for a second tier construction a while. Looks like we're we're actually at our manpower limit. Go ahead and do a wee bit of training. factories. France and Britain have teamed up. That's not too surprising. I think what I want to do is I want to do a game where I specifically set Hungary to want to become Austria-Hungary, where Germany tries to re, uh, regain the Kaiser and then have Turkey go for the Ottoman Empire and try to just redo the central powers. I think that could be fun. But then you're kind of getting rid of most of your aggressors. Who would be the, the person to fight? Italy would be the only guy that left that's, that's fascist. But I think if I do that, I would have to make France want to go communist. Probably the UK goes fascist. Italy can stay fascist. So then you'll still have... Uh two communists on either side of the unaligned and then two fascists splitting in between and then you could still end up with uh with some fights happening i feel like that could be a fun play to do okay dispersed or concentrated industry the age-old question um i think for since we're going to be fairly defensive Let's go with Concentrated. I don't see us expanding. He really stays unaligned. I would have thought he ends up being a little more of a, uh, a fascist leader. Let's get that steel, because we need it. Oop, we can pay another debt. Let's go with the Italians again. actually going to unblock a couple of these. Let me know when I can take care of them. As far as political actions, I'm not really worried. Notify those two.
And we wait. Things going on in China. Mostly what we're missing is rifles and support equipment. Artillery is catching up. About to be able to create a newer unit. Put a support anti-tank in here. Wait a little bit for this to take up. Okay. Okay, and now we got a bunch of steel. We were missing 12, now we're missing 9. Because that's right, everything's going to market. Oy. I need to take care of that next. Which one is having us send the most resources to market? You're sending 30%. Yeah, so he's just making us set an extra 30. Export focus. Having us spend 50. How many factories are we getting from our trade law? We're getting seven from trade, so... Let's go with this for now. We'll give us a bunch of political power. We'll start working us uh, down this line. Go to the cooperate. But we would need one of those, so we gotta go down that way anyway. Infrastructure and stability. Yeah, we'll take the infrastructure. It'll help us build faster. Oh, we have a decision available. Small debt repayment. Let's go to the British. Machine tools. Let's go there. I'm back to here looking at who we can have. Hmm. We can go all the way to partial mob already. I think we should. It was a little expensive, but, uh, certainly gave us more factories. And we're going through this. We'll take us to here, so we will get, uh, free trade laws. If we go this way... We can go straight to war economy. Now to have and keep war economy, you need more than 50% war support. So it might be a little hard to keep it if I go that way. Basic resource extraction. And let's bring in one steel from Germany.
because we still need these factories pretty badly. The Peloponnese is growing. Build two mills in Attica when they're done there. Let's go to free trade. It should be helpful. I mean, free trade is just going to make us construct and uh, research a whole lot more, even though we lose some, uh, some resources. We have another decision available. Let's go the Italians again. More research. We're almost up to 5 XP. We'll be able to change around one of these guys just a bit again. Go ahead. Rush that a little bit. With some training. Okay, where do we have this guy step that at? He needs to switch for infantry. So... Recruitment and deploy. Edit him. Go infantry. Oop. Place with an infantry. See. Just add the infantry for now. That'll make him 20 width, and we can replace these mountaineers with infantry as time goes on. Uh, how many could we train at this point? Just one. But we'll work on training him. Uh, let's put high priority on the enforcement. Or no. High priority here to get these guys trained out. We have luxury commodities in place. We now have our free trade laws. Let's go... This gives a base war support of 5%. How much is this growing? Doesn't really say. How many consumer goods factories is that pulling from us? Where is it? There it is. 15%. So we gotta figure something out with that. But we'll do that in the next video. If you guys like what you're seeing, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It'll really help me out. Catch y'all in the next one.